Have you ever seen a business page on Facebook that you were interested in and when you went and started clicking around and looking at it, you became very unimpressed? <laughs> That's a common experience. So today I want to show you how to do a Facebook business page audit that will make it so that anybody who sees your page, they're immediately going to be impressed and you are going to be the one they want to work with. Take a look. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We're so glad you're here. What we're all about is helping real estate agents just like you generate more leads, set more appointments, and close more deals. So if that's what you're after, this is the place to be. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as part of our community. Before we get going on today's video, just one quick note. Down in the description below, you will find a link to our Facebook Masters class. It is a training that is chock full of information of all of our best practices, the strategies that we use to generate leads, set appointments and close more deals. So make sure you go check that out. Class is totally free. It is time very well spent. Now in today's video, what we're gonna be talking about is how to do a Facebook business page audit so that when people come to your business page, they're going to be impressed and they are going to like what they see. So. I have um, just done some, some quick research and pulled up a completely random business page. I have no idea who um, this individual is. And if he happens to watch my channel, then I apologize. <laughs> but uh, uh, just take it as some constructive criticism of things that uh, you, could be, you could do better to improve. So um, with this particular page, again, what we're after with this particular audit is I wanna show you some red flags. So here's what tends to happen, is you, there might be a, a person who's interested in doing business with you, they click through to your business page, they kinda of start clicking on things to check you out, and they end up becoming very unimpressed about what they see, to the point where maybe they would have done business with you, but after they've seen what they've seen, now they're not. So I want to kind of walk you through that process, eliminate those red flags kind of so that you can do really just a self audit of your business page. So let's just kind of go through and talk about some of these. So one of the first things that I recommend and uh, this particular agent's done a great job is in the page title. I do recommend having both your name and um, like the real estate area you work with or just even real estate in general, something like that. Because most people are either going to search for you based on your name or your profession or the area that you work in. So by putting some combination of that, like your name and real estate or real estate agent, or in this case, Greater Houston area, um, you know, Greater Houston real estate, all of that is going to be very effective and I highly, highly recommend that. So they've done a great job. That's one of the first things you wanna check. Um, sometimes, you know, if your page is named like Selling Utah, because I live in Utah, if you were putting Selling Utah or Utah Dream Home, it's not exactly what people are going and searching for and looking for. And so organically, you may not get found as often. That's one of the things you wanna be thinking about. Now, next thing is we wanna make sure with your cover photo that it has some, str some strategy and some purpose to it. So here, he's got this photo that says, Happy New Year 2022. Um, <laughs> one of the major problems with this is the date of me recording this is March 30th. I mean, we're one day away from the first quarter of the year being over. So if people come here and they see this, they just realize it's outdated. And uh, again, it just, not only is it outdated, but it kind of misses the mark, right? There's nothing about Happy New Year that really has anything to do with real estate or with you, know, with you as the, the business owner or the, the real estate professional. So what I recommend instead is having something like this. And what I like to do with my cover photo is I like to use it as a way of drawing attention to this learn more button. Because this call to action button, um, right here it says learn more, you can configure it to do different things, but it's just a lot more strategic than just leaving it at the default of someone following the page, right? 
I would much rather drive them to a website, capture a lead, make some other kind of impression than just putting Happy New Year. One of the other things that you also want to be aware of is uh, every state has their different regulations, but the majority of them requires that the brokerage logo be somewhere within one click. And so that's a lot of the reason why I like to put the brokerage logo right here on the cover photo is because it fulfills that requirement. You're within one click. If people click to your page, it's one of the first things they're going to see. So it does fulfill that one click requirement. And if you ever do decide to change brokerages, it's just a lot easier to swap out a logo and replace this cover photo than it is to do anything else. Now, if you're looking at that going, Kevin, I don't know how to create a cover photo that looks like that. Fantastic. I will put a link right here to a tutorial where I've got the step by steps of how to create something like this. So feel free to go check that video out and uh, you can watch exactly how I create something like this. Only takes about five to 10 minutes. Pretty, pretty simple. So that is one thing that you can absolutely do to help with credibility is having something like this that is a lot more real estate centric where we can drive people to a website, get them searching for properties, request a market analysis, something to that effect where again, it's just that initial react or that initial interaction with people. Um, he's got his uh, unique handle here at and then his name realtor. That's fine. Um, just so you know, a lot of people are not searching based on this, but if you don't do it, it ends up being like a blank placeholder and that stands out like a sore thumb. So on your business page, if you do not have your custom handle, you definitely want to create that. And uh, you would just, as you're an admin, you can just hover over that, click, it gives you an option to edit it. And uh, again, I do recommend having that. Not because it's super functional, it's just credibility, <laughs> right? If people come and they see that it's blank or it just looks weird, uh, again, it's just a red flag that we want to eliminate. Um, another thing here, he's got two people who have given him reviews and that's, that's a good start. Um, again, one of the business practices that I highly recommend is you want to get into the habit of inviting as many people to come and leave you a, a review, even if you have to bribe them to do it with a gift card or something like that. It's totally worth it. Again, this is a huge credibility piece just because the day and age when we, the day and age that we live in right now, people look at reviews before they make buying decisions. They're looking at the reviews on Amazon and, and Walmart and all the different websites out there when they're making purchases. They're looking to see what other people say. And so if you have this, you know, if you've got 10, 15, 20, 30 people that have reviewed you and said, hey, they're awesome. That goes a long, long way to building credibility. And uh, so again, get in the habit of driving people, you know, send them an email, give them the link to come and leave a review. You want to do that as much as possible. Again, just it's a great, great way to build credibility, doing it through a third party when people are leaving a review about their experience with you. Okay, so all of that is, is good. So again, biggest takeaway for, for this agent so far is I recommend updating this so that it's not something that's outdated. Again, some people just come to the conclusion of, well, if he's not taking care of this, you know, what is he not taking care of in, in my transaction? Not everyone's going to think that, but it does happen. And so again, if we can eliminate it, we should. Um, I also like to use this uh, blue um, call to action button as we've talked about. So that's another thing. One of the other things you want to um, take note of is in this section here where it has about, there is all of this information. Now, this particular agent's done a, a pretty good job of having all of this filled out. Now, there are some things that I would um, also recommend. Number one, he's got a healthy number of page likes. If you followed any of my information, you know I don't care too much about page likes because I'm a big fan of running paid ads. We pay for ads to go far beyond the number of people who have y'all liked your page. So it's not that critical from that perspective, but where, it, where the number of likes is critical is credibility. So think about it. If you were interested in business and you go to their business page and you see that five or 10 people like the page, you know, what's going on in your mind is they're new, nobody likes them, they're just getting started. Again, I don't, I don't really care what that thought is. None of them really are that positive, right? So 
this it, it, the number itself isn't that important so much as it is just credibility. So obviously here, plenty of people have liked the page, totally credible. No one's gonna come here and think that, oh, they're brand new and don't know what they're doing, right? So that's one thing to take an audit of. If you don't have very many people liking your page, invite your friends, your family, your other agents in the brokerage. If you're really hard up for a like, send it to me, I'll give you one, right? But just make sure that it's not zero or, again, you just wanna start having a decent amount for credibility purposes. Second thing with your about section is obviously contact info. I see so many agents pages where their contact info is incorrect. So again, do an audit, go through, make sure it's the correct website, make sure it's the correct phone number. If it's not, change it, right? <laughs> so phone, or sorry, phone, email, website, make sure all of that is correct. In this case, he's also got a couple of his uh, other social media accounts for Twitter and for Instagram here. Same thing, make sure the links work. There's nothing that leaves a bad impression. Let's say somebody comes here, but they really like Twitter and they wanna follow you there. If they click on this link and it doesn't take them to your Twitter profile, again, it's one of those red flags where it's like, ugh, right? So all we're trying to do is just do an audit, make sure it's correct. The other thing that is probably relevant for more than half of you is making sure that on your about section, I would suspect most of you don't have any kind of information about your background or your expertise or who it is that you work with. Now this agent um, has got quite a bit of information in here. A lot of it is re related to his professional experience outside of real estate. So if I had some constructive feedback for this agent, it would be to change that. Um, most people don't care that um, <laughs> he's worked in executive leadership roles with Fortune 500 tech companies. Um, I would suspect the average person doesn't care about that even one bit. What they care about mostly is how they're going to help him help them buy or sell a home. And so I would advise him and anybody else watching this video, make sure that it's very focused about what people are looking for. I recommend having that conversation be about things like who you work with, the kinds of problems those people face, and then what you do to help them solve those problems. That will help you focus your about message to be something that is very um, centered around your prospects rather than you. See, what I don't like about this particular write-up is it's all about the agent. It has very little to do with the person reading it. That's one of the big mistakes so many people make about marketing is your marketing should be about them and the results you can help them accomplish has very little, if anything, to do with you because frankly, nobody cares, right? What they care about is themselves. So let's create a message that's about them. So again, focusing on what type of people you work with, the problems they face, how you help them solve it, something like this would be far more relevant, right? So if you do a lot of work with first-time buyers, I work with first-time home buyers who don't have the money for the down payment, I show them ways to overcome that so they can buy a home today and stop wasting money on rent. See, something like that is going to make a very tangible impression right away. And by the way, I am not a real estate agent. This is just a page I've created for training purposes. I just use it for doing videos like this, um, just to show people some examples of things, right? So that is another thing. The other thing that I highly recommend is I like using a pinned post. Now you can see right here, this is a post that he created back in September um, and he's pinned it so that it shows first. So normally the way that it works is a pinned post will show first and then the next most recent post and so on and so on and so on down the page, right? And so you can see that his next most recent post was an hour ago, three hours ago, four hours ago, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, now I like using the pinned post as an introduction. So this is where I would, yes, that is what I look like, but, <laughs> but um, you would use this as an introduction, right? Talking about uh, your background, how you can help people, the types of uh, services that you offer. Anything like that is going to be a very powerful um, piece to do as an introduction. Um, and then once you've got your introduction and you post it on your page, we just want to pin that so that as people come to your page to check you out, that introduction is going to be one of the first things they come across. Now, you can do it picture style as you see here, 
or you can also do it video style, which I highly recommend as well. But these are some of the, the major things that when people come to your page and they're doing a little research to find out what you're about, it makes a huge impression. If they can see your face and hear your voice, they, they have an idea of who, it is, who you are and what type of results you can help people uh, achieve. They're getting all of your contact information that's correct. They see other people have liked working with you. They see a link to your website, a very professional cover photo. Again, all of these things create this environment where it's like, yes, this is the person that I've been looking for. This is the person that I want to do business with. Rather than when they come, it's like, well, that's not quite right and that's outdated and that really doesn't resonate with me. Those are the kinds of things that we want to eliminate with your business page so that when people come, again, they're gonna fall in love with you because they love what they see. They realize that you're the go-to person and that is what we wanna create. So the takeaway from today's video, take a few minutes, use these principles, do an audit of your Facebook business page. Make sure that it's eliminating those red flags so that when people come, they're gonna be impressed and they're gonna to wanna to move forward working with you as their, as their trusted real estate professional. So. If that was helpful, take a split second, click that thumbs up button down below. That helps us tremendously. It's just a signal to YouTube that people like the content that we put out. And so they show it to more people. And so again, if we've helped you help us in return, click that button. We appreciate your support. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Down in the description or down below the video, you will see the subscribe button as well as a bell notification. If you click the bell, you'll be notified every time we put out brand new content and we put out content like this every single week tips and strategies to improve your marketing and help you grow your business. Uh, also, if you are curious about the done for you services that we provide where we can help you generate leads, set appointments, close more deals with the marketing that we do, down in the description below, you'll find a link with that information. So if you're interested, go check that out. Love to have a conversation with you and see how we can help. Otherwise, that's it. Make it a great week. Keep crushing it in your real estate business. As always, if we can help, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next video. Take care.